Now this video is sponsored, but I only agreed to make it because Movavi's screen recorder is hands down the best screen recorder I've used. It's convenient, easy to use, and has powerful features. There's two versions, the free version, which has no watermarks and lets you record as much video as you want, while the premium version lets you record desktop audio, display your webcam with an overlay, take screenshots, and even edit those screenshots. To get an exclusive 20% off the premium version, be sure to check out the link in the description. Okay, when you first open up Movavi's screen recorder, you'll see this widget on the side of your screen. The widget being there is really convenient and you can drag it to any side of the screen you want. You can even hide it until you need it by clicking the arrow. At the very top of the widget is a cog to open up the settings. Underneath that is a camera button for taking screenshots. And then you have the video recording button, let's start with that one. Now simply drag to select the part of the screen you'd like to record, or to record the full screen, just hit the space bar on your keyboard. After you've made your selection, you can still move it around, and drag the corners to resize it. There's even an option to manually adjust the width and height if you're aiming for a specific resolution. On the right side of your selection, you'll find a button for capturing and displaying your keyboard strokes. Under that is a button to highlight your cursor, which is very valuable for making tutorials or educational videos. And the color of the highlight is fully customizable in the settings. And then there's a button that gives your cursor a little click animation whenever you click something. On the bottom of the capture, there's an option for turning on your webcam to enable an overlay. You could fully customize the size and position of the overlay in the settings. Next to it is a button for turning on your microphone. And lastly is this button with the speaker that enables desktop audio capture. Okay, once you're ready to record, just hit the red record button. And I'll start playing back my YouTube video I want to record. While your video is recording, you can pause it at any point and continue recording when you're ready. It'll show up when you're finished as one seamless video. There's also the ability to take screenshots while your video records. Once you're finished recording, just hit stop to open up this new window. In here, you can trim the parts off of your video by clicking the cut button and dragging these handles to select the part of the video you'd like to cut out. Then make sure the playhead is anywhere inside your selection and simply hit the trash button to delete it. To take screenshots of your finished video, position the playhead to where you want to capture and then click the screenshot button. But let's say you're not satisfied with your initial recording, so to make another one, you'd go up to capture, start recording. But I think mine looks fine, so I won't do that. Once you're done editing, you can either continue to edit it in Movavi Video Editor, or you can export it. When you click export, you'll have the ability to give it a new name and change its save location. You also might want to change the exported video's format. I'll leave mine as mp4 since that's the most common file type. When you're done, click save to finish the process and then you'll get the option to view the save location of your new video. All right, and there's a recording I just made from YouTube. Okay, next I'm going to close out of here and move to a different part of the video to show you the screenshot feature. To take a screenshot, click the camera at the top of the widget. Just like the video capture, drag to select the part of the screen you'd like in the shot. And of course, you can reposition it and rescale it as you see fit. Alright, the cool thing about the screenshot tool is that you can mark up your image right when you take your screenshot. Now there's all kinds of options like the ability to highlight stuff, which is really useful for highlighting text like this part number. You also have the ability to draw different shapes or you can draw lines. And you can even point to things with an arrow, which I use all the time when making YouTube thumbnails. To undo a markup you just added, just click the undo button at the bottom. Let's say I want a thicker arrow this time, so I'll change the shapes width here before adding my arrow. Once you're finished editing, at the bottom of the capture you have the option to copy your screenshot, save it to your computer, or share it right away. I'll just save mine to my computer since that's what I usually do. Okay, and there's a screenshot I just took. With this video, you can probably tell that I really like this program, so be sure to check out the link in the description for an exclusive discount and to support my friends over at Movavi. But that's all for now, so thanks for watching and see you next time.